Target row S is one of the most popular bidding strategies among advertisers. In this value-based bidding strategy, you feed Google Ads with your revenue data and Google Ads will optimize your campaigns toward revenue to maximize the conversion value within the target row S that you set. The most common case of using target row S is for e-commerce websites, where a user buys a product and pays the price right away. For the businesses that capture leads on their websites, they can still use target row S by assigning a value to their conversions. A common way of doing this is to import revenue data from your CRM or your Google Analytics to Google Ads. When you switch from conversion bidding or target CPA strategy to target ROAS, you generally should expect lower search volume in your campaign. The reason is that target ROAS optimizes for your most valuable customers instead of the most conversions within your targets. To compensate for the loss of volume, you can switch your exact and phrase match type keywords in the search campaign to broad match type to aim for higher search volume. First, why should you even use target row as if your business works based on leads? If you use target row as instead of target CPA, your campaign will be optimized toward generating revenue and not necessarily leads. That way, there can be a higher chance of generating high quality leads that will result in actual revenue for your business. Otherwise, using target CPA bidding strategy and simply optimizing toward leads might result in more of low quality leads and therefore higher cancellation rate. But of course, it totally depends on the nature of your business, whether you should target leads or revenue as the primary objective in your campaigns. To use target row as bidding strategy for your campaigns in a successful way, one thing that you need to consider is the number of recent conversions in your campaign or your account. Target ROAS is a smart bidding strategy, and it performs best when there is a large volume of data coming to your campaigns so that Google's machine learning algorithms can better position your ads in ad auctions. As a rule of thumb, Google recommends that your campaign should have at least 15 conversions in the past 30 days before you start using a target row as bidding strategy. Here are the official guidelines from Google about the minimum number of conversions that your campaign should have before you use target row as. 15 conversions in the past 30 days for search and display campaigns, 30 conversions in the past 30 days for video campaigns, 10 conversions every day for app campaigns, and 75 conversions in the past 30 days for discovery campaigns. For some businesses, your campaign might not get 15 conversions in the past 30 days. In that case, you might want to consolidate your similar campaigns to increase the number of conversions. Let's say you have two separate campaigns, which one of them in average gets 10 leads every month and the other one gets 7 leads a month. If the keywords in both campaigns have similar theme and both have similar objectives, you can consolidate them into one campaign. That way, target row as might work better for, for the campaign because of the consolidated data. The recent product developments on target row as bidding strategy says that there is no longer a minimum threshold on 30 days conversions at the campaign level. Instead, the updated soft guideline is minimum 15 conversions in the past 30 days at a conversion tracking level. What this means is that, let's say you have many campaigns in your account that all use the same conversion action. In that case, if your account's conversion action has 15 conversions in the past 30 days, no matter which campaign generated that conversion, the target row as bidding strategy should be able to optimize any of the campaigns in your account as long as those campaigns use that conversion action. You should note that the new guidelines for the 15 conversions at the account level's conversion action works only at single campaign. In many cases, 
you might use a portfolio bidding strategy for your campaigns. How portfolio bidding works is that you can use the same bidding strategy across multiple campaigns. In that case, every single campaign in the portfolio strategy needs to have a minimum of 15 conversions in the past 30 days for you to use target ROAS. For example, if you have two campaigns using a shared portfolio bidding strategy, Google recommends that each campaign in the portfolio should have 15 conversions on their own before you switch to target ROAS. Despite the Google's guideline of minimum 30 conversions in the past 30 days, whether at campaign level or conversion action level, I personally do not find that number of conversions enough to use target ROAS bidding strategy in my search campaigns. Based on my experience, the more data can improve the performance of target ROAS. I usually aim for at least 50 conversions in the past 30 days for my search campaigns to switch it to target ROAS. Otherwise, I would prefer using target CPA bidding strategy. Of course, each campaign situation is different. It always takes test and experimentation to decide which bidding strategy you are more comfortable with for your campaigns. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Google Ads tips. Thank you.